Today I'm going to be making the limited edition Duncan Hines Irish Cream Decadent Brownie Mix. Uh, this was $1.78 at Walmart and about a week ago I made the Amaretto Brownie Mix and it, you'll have to watch that. It, um, We'll see. We'll see how this one turns out. Uh, it should be interesting. This is Irish cream with a pouch of rich and creamy Irish cream topping. So we will see if the brownies have an Irish cream flavor or if all the flavor is just in the pouch. This is what comes in the box. You get your uh, brownie mix and then this is your pouch of your Irish cream. So we're just going to set that aside because we're not going to use that until they're finished. So, what I've done is I've preheated my oven to 350. I have sprayed my well-loved brownie pan, <laughs> and I am going, last time when I made the amaretto brownies, I made them cake-like. This time I'm gonna do the fudgy brownies, because you can do either one. I could do cake-like and use two eggs, two tablespoons of water, and a third a cup of oil, or fudgy brownies, that's what I'm gonna do. One egg, one third uh, cup of water, and one third cup of oil. So, these are super easy. Smells good. And there's my water, and my egg, and my oil. Now it says you're supposed to be able to stir this about 50 strokes or until it's smooth and then you pour it in the pan. But I love how easy this is. I love it that I don't have to um, get the, the mixer out, uh, the hand mixer or the KitchenAid mixer. I just love that. And you don't dirty a lot of dishes. Literally, I'm using a, a spoon and a bowl, and then I'm going to use my, my brownie pan, and that's, that's going to be it. So, you can't get any more convenient than that. So, I've about got it mixed. I'm not super, super picky. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good. There might be a couple lumps in there, but all in all, it looks really good. So, pour this right in here. Okay, you just want to spread this out. And this is a nine by nine inch pan, so the, this is gonna go in the oven for um, half an hour, and then we'll check back. And what the directions don't tell you, one thing they don't tell you is when you have all that left on your spoon, you do like this. We'll be back. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so I just took the brownies out of the oven, and I'm supposed to let them cool completely on the rack before uh, cutting and then adding the Irish cream to them, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, the brownies have cooled off, and I have not done anything except for um, I cut them. I cut three brownies out. Ashley's going to try one as well. She won't be in this video, though, because she has had a shower. Good brownies. Are we going to try it first to see if it's just plain brownie? It's just a plain brownie. Just a plain brownie? Yeah, it's good. It's a good chocolate mm. brownie. That's a very, very good brownie. I like the texture of these, but I did the other ones you made. Mm -hmm. I do, too. I don't the know cake. why. Oh, the because cake. those you made these fudgy. Cake. Well, when the I made... The fudgiers are moisture. When I made the other ones, you'll notice I filmed myself. If you watched that video, Kevin was not at home that night, and I didn't know. I got to that point in the recipe, and it was like, oh my goodness, I don't know whether to make them cake or fudgy. Now I know, always go fudgy. Always fudgy. Always fudgy. I just didn't know. So. Just the fact that it said anywhere in there fudge should, should <laughs> let you know. Okay, so here is the Irish cream. Oh, and it's a. Uh, get closer. It's like a light color, and I'm just, I'm not trying to be fancy at all. I'm just trying to 
get it on here. It's kind of an off white. I'm not putting it on the all the brownies because we want to see if we like it first. And then if we really like it, then we'll put it on all the brownies. That is, um, that's Ooh. different. Don't spill it. It's not different bad. It's just, it's, it's different. It kind of tastes like, um, a vanilla flavor. Mm. That's good, but there's not enough of it to... It's not a strong enough flavor to where you can really... It makes is. a huge amount of difference, but it does have a vanilla. A good yeah, vanilla. it is very good. If anything, it makes it sweeter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're already sweet, chocolatey, really, really good brownies. And this just makes it sweeter. So All would right, you like um, to try some? Ashley, like I said, she's off camera, but you don't want to try it with the Irish cream at all? Well, that's good. Um, my brownie's gone. So if you want to try, you can have mine. If you want to try one of these decadent mixes, then I recommend this one, although we saw like salted caramel, didn't we? At, we did see another one. At the Dollar General? Yeah. We saw like a salted caramel decadent mix and I bet you anything that that's really, really good. Um, but, but all these are just regular brownies. You're, the only thing you're getting different is that packet. Yeah. Like literally, that's the only thing you're getting yeah. different. So if that p flavor doesn't interest you in the least bit, then why bother? Yeah, really? unless they're the same price, because the brownies are really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, the brownies are good. If they're the same price, go ahead and get it and try out the flavor. And if you or, don't like it, just don't eat it. Or if they go on sale at the end of the season, because these are supposed to be like seasonal or special or yeah. something like buy them that. Yeah, throw the packet away. Yeah, then you know that, <laughs> yeah, that it's, you can buy them and just eat the brownies. I wonder if that'd there. be good on the chocolate ice cream. Oh, probably. Or ice cream, because it's kind of thick. Yeah, it is thick. And vanilla flavor. Yeah. Kind of vanilla flavor. -like. So this is good. We probably will use this packet, unlike mm -hmm. the other one that the amaretto, we completely yeah, threw it like away. It. This one's actually good enough to mm -hmm. eat. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.